Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back in Chiddingston, which I've been here a few times since 1992 when I first came here. And one of my very first videos on this channel was from Chiddingston in 2018, 2018. And what's great about this village, apart from all the cars parked, is it's all owned, apart from the pub and the church, it's all owned by the National Trust, which I used to be a member of, but not anymore. So I have a little walk around again. It's been six years since I've been here last. Join me. Old door alert, old door alert. Fantastic. Getting stone stores, 1453. So this is one of the best preserved Tudor streets in England. Been much preserved. Chiddington School. And it's great. A lot of films have been shot here. Notably, um, is it Elizabeth Rex with Glenda Hat Jackson, a BBC series back in 71, 1971. Yeah, it's an absolutely amazing, amazing place. Parish of St Mary the Virgin, Chiddingston. Was it really six years since I was here last? Six years? So yeah, one of my first videos I did on this channel. This is the ancient church. I think most of this is a Victorian makeover. I wonder if it's open. Should we have a look? I've never ever been in this church before. Every time I've come here, it's been shut. So I don't know much about it. I think it's uh, medieval in origin or probably much further than that, like most of these old churches are. Some hatchments up on the wall. Oh, it's quite spacious as well, actually. If you look at it, it's really big. This is really spur of the moment of me coming here because I was at Hever Castle in the previous video and I had lunch recently at um, the Wheat Sheaf at Brow Green. I thought, well, let's come here. I'm only a mile away from Chiddingston and it's one of the most unique places in southern England. A guide to St Mary's. See, again, I've said before, I'm not bringing in any money. I need to buy these things. Yeah, it says, um, it's probably medieval in origin, I say, but it could be a much older, older uh, church on this site beforehand. 1714, these plaques here. These tombs, 1714. Ladies and gentlemen, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, what's prompting this to be swaying? You can see it, it was swaying really quite heavily just a minute ago. There's no wind outside when I open the door, so why is that, why is that doing that? Hmm. There's a little private chapel. Very dark in here, I'm afraid, so you won't be able to see much. Mm. Interesting. 
Is it still swaying? Yeah, it's still swaying. Maybe it's because it's on a long chain and gravity is just playing up. As I say, this is one of the best preserved Tudor streets in the whole country. I'll tell you, a whole street, apart from the church and the pub, as I say, <clears throat> excuse me, owned by the National Trust. This is a lovely church. In fact, it's very big for such a small parish. Um, lovely. Thank you, St. Mary's, for letting us in. Richard Nurse, late rector of Chiddingston in Kent, who departed this life on the 10th of June, 1705, aged 65. And the second daughter of the Reverend Richard Nurse, 1752, aged 81. Okay, let's uh, pop out and uh, have another look around the village. Thank you, St. Mary's Church. Well, see, this mausoleum's quite interesting. This one here, I don't know who it's dedicated to. Um, but yeah, I remember coming to Chiddingston. I said this on that video from 2018. I came here for a recce for a film I was doing. It was an amateur film called The Free Man with my friend Andrew at the time. And we were looking for locations around this area. We never did film here, by the way. The National Trust, purchased in 1939 with a legacy from John Arthur Fallows of Bournemouth. The National Trust, Chiddingston. Footpath to the Chiding Stone, where the village gets its name from. I know I've been here before, but as we're here, Let's show you the Chiding Stone, ancient sandstone. A lovely view across the fields. So here we are at the Chiding Stone, a natural outcrop of sandstone, I think it is. It could have been a meeting place in medieval times, the laws of the manor. Lots of graffiti on there, unfortunately, as you can see, which is, which is not cool. But uh, yeah, the Chiding Stone, absolutely fantastic, a natural outcrop. Let's get up here. Oh, lovely. And then a nice view across the fields in Kent. Oh, someone's doing something to their lawns, streaming or something. Of course they're streaming, I'm videoing. <laughs> um, yeah, I first came here in 93. Um, I've been coming ever since. Another little unique part of uh, Kent, even though it's natural. They're the only stone remaining, weathered away by centuries of corrosion.
just wanted to show you that. Oh, shut up streaming. Nice barley field. The overflow of the churchyard. Oh yeah, I remember walking down here a few years back. Takes you down to the stream, to the river. And uh, there's a World War II pillbox there as well, if I'm not mistaken. Which we first saw in 93. The churchyard. This is a very pleasant walk. Look at that, beautiful. Oh, the English summer, can't beat it. I think I have a quick walk down and see if we can see the, um, the pillbox as we go down this little darkened alley. Nearly there. Oh, lovely. Just walking the countryside outside Chiddingston. The beautiful Kent countryside, the Garden of England, as they call it, or used to call it. On this warm day, it's lovely. Excuse my ignorance, but I've totally forgotten what this river is. Sorry. But there's the um, pillbox which is probably going to be overgrown because we're in summer. It was last time I was here in uh, 2018. Oh, yeah, I don't think you can get to it. We'll have a quick look. No, it's really overgrown. You can't get to it, unfortunately, which is a shame. But it's, um, wait a minute. Yeah, it's just through there. Um, can you get through here? No, no. So thank you for joining me for this impromptu trip to Chiddingston, which I wasn't expecting to do. The pillbox is over there, which we can't get to, because it's overgrown. It's a lovely place if you're ever in the area, come and, come and visit. Showing the pub's closed for refurbishment and um, some historical uh, work going on as well. Um, but yeah, can you do the usual please? You know, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next time, sometime in the summer. Take care.